Okay, welcome back to Angel's Cooking POV Diaries. Today, we're gonna make uh, Camembert Wellington. So, I made beef Wellington recently, really enjoyed making it, and uh, more importantly, really enjoyed cooking it. Uh, so today, we're gonna, we're gonna do, I wanna do the same recipe as the beef Wellington, but rather than beef, we're gonna do a, a baked Camembert. So, just to uh, get started, I put seven chestnut mushrooms in my blender. Um, and now I am going to add a garlic clove, which I'm gonna peel um, and I'm gonna, okay, welcome back. So, two cloves of garlic, whack it in the, in the blender. I like to add a little bit of ground nutmeg, just a little bit, not a lot, and pepper. Um, not gonna add salt because the Parma ham is quite salty, so it adds it adds the salt to it. Uh, but a little bit of pepper, and that's it. So then whack it in the blender like so. Pull up some of the blended mushrooms so that the non-blended mushrooms go back down to the blade. But I can smell the nice smell of the chestnut mushrooms. I can smell the garlic. So hopefully then I'll print up the mushrooms. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So that's it really. nice little mushroom base, okay now what we need to do next is we need to on a low heat just put a little bit of olive oil maybe i've overdone that but a bit okay and on a low heat we need to cook these mushrooms off um, and the idea is that we um cook the water out of them really because um when we put it in the little pastry, in the, in the we don't want it too liquid, because uh, one will get soggy bottom, and two, it may leak. So let's bake, let's cook the water out of the mushroom. Normally takes about five minutes, okay? So there you go, look, mushroom in a frying pan, mushroom paste in a frying pan with the garlic and nutmeg, and a little bit of pepper. And I'm just going to cook this through for five minutes till it becomes your, as it's cooking, you'll see the colour will start to change and the water will, will start coming out of it. And then the idea is to reduce that water um, and make a nice mushroom paste. Okay, so I'll press pause for now and I'll come back in five minutes once the mushroom is cooked. Well, as you can see, the water is slowly boiling away from the mushrooms. I've turned the heat right down. It's, I mean, it's ready really, but we'll just keep it cooking for a couple more minutes while I prepare the calendar. Now here, what I've done is I've laid eight slices of Parma ham, like that. And now I'm gonna prepare the calendar. Obviously, you do not wanna cook this with the rinds, so. Try and take as little of it off as possible so you're not wasting cheese. My phone's ringing, but I'll call them back, whoever it is, in a minute. And the other side. As I say, just try and take the, the rind off without wasting a lot of cheese. If you leave a little bit on there, like these little bits, look, it's not the end of the world, okay? And then, then slowly, round i'm going to do it on i oh know i can't do it on there because i've got to add the mushroom so they just slowly round the edges just cut the wind off 
it's otherwise it is a bit bitter. And I do know some people that like the rind, I just find it just a little bit bitter. So there's the, the camembert cheese. Let's unstick it, prepared for the next day. Right, now, the mushrooms, which are now ready, basically just pour it on the palm ham. And then just try and spread it and make a thin layer, an even thin layer, all the way. I'm gonna leave a little lip at the end because you're not gonna need a big area to wrap the cheese in. So a bit nice like that. And I'm gonna push it in as well because the sides, you don't want it over to the sides because again, that was gonna wrap the cheese. So there you go. So there's your mushroom, garlic, and a little bit of nutmeg. Now, grab the cheese, which is a bit sticky, but there you go, grab the cheese, whack it on. And what I should have done, and I didn't, which is put a little bit of um, cling film underneath it, and then it makes this process a lot, lot easier. This could turn into a bit of a mess. No, we've got away with it, got away with it. Look, there you go. And then with the spare lip that you left on the palm of ham, just wrap it all up. Now, very important, this next bit. Um, so it doesn't all fall apart when you cook it. Now, I should have done this before I started taping. Right. Don't you just hide, hate finding the the edges of of cling film? It's like sellotape, right? Okay, we're there. We got it. Or at least I think we yeah. have. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap it in. I'm going to wrap it in a little bit, and I've done it the wrong way around. I'm an idiot. Okay, I'm gonna wrap it. What am I doing? I don't know how I'm doing this, but. Okay, wrap it in cling film like this. And then wrap it right up. And then use the sides of the cling film just to really tighten the wrap. And really, really make it a tight. Now this, so it doesn't fall apart when we bake it, is now gonna go in the oven for 20 minutes not the oven the fridge for 20 minutes so i'm going to pause the video i'm going to come back then we'll cover it with the pastry um and we'll get it we'll get it in the oven see you soon okay welcome back so what i've done is this time i put a bit of cling film and ready-made puff pastry that i bought because puff pastry i love cooking but i don't love it that much puff pastry is a nightmare and this has been resting in the fridge for 40 minutes actually um I just thought the longer it rests, the better. So let's take it out. Okay, so really simple. Place it on the puff pastry. Then I've got the cling film this time to help me just roll it till there. Now what I'm gonna use is a pizza cutter just to Cut away the pastry that we don't need because I didn't know how much we would need. Like that. And I'm going to fold these under. And the reason I'm going to fold it under is so when you bake it, the fold doesn't split because it's on the tray. By folding it under, it means the fold will not split open. Like that. Okay. And then same side again, if you'll have a look, just fold it under. It, it, not rocket science, not difficult. Fold it under. There it is. Ready to go. So, like last time, let me get a knife and just cut this open. Okay. Like last time, use the cling film in the corners like this and twist it to make it a really tight 
envelope or, or, or package, whatever you want to call it. And again, what it needs to do now is rest for 20 minutes in the fridge, just so it keeps its shape when we bake it. I'll come back shortly. What we'll do is we'll put some egg glaze on it, put a little pattern on top, and we'll whack it in the oven. Okay, sorry about that. Sorry, the video cut out then, but we'll carry on. So, not a very sharp knife, just a normal table knife, and just, look, give it a little pattern. I'm just gonna go crisscross, because it's very basic, very easy. Just give it a little pattern like that. Very easy. It just makes it look nice. Okay, so, next tip for this. Uh, this has got serious danger of soggy bottom. So what I've done is, I've put a tray in the oven. Idea being, the tray is now red. Okay, out, out. Yes, it is. So, place, excuse me, let me just, okay, place it in a red hot tray. So, already the bottom is baking because the tray is red hot, okay? And that hopefully helps with a soggy bottom. So now, put it in the oven for 25 minutes. That's it. Um, let's see how my uh, baked camembert a la Wellington comes out. Never done it before. Thought we'd give it a go. I'll come straight back. Okay, welcome back. So this has been rusting in the fridge now for a good 20 minutes, okay? Um, I'm by myself now, so I'm going to have to try and do this one hand. So let's open her up. There we go. Take the clean film off. Like so. Give me a second. I will say. One handed. There we go. So there she is, nicely rested. She, uh, the pastry is actually cool. Um, so now what we're going to do, I've beat an egg in a cup like this. I'm just going to get a brush and just brush it all the way around so it gets a nice golden, nice golden bake all the way through. Okay, like this. Look at that, lovely. And then just get a knife, Does not very sharp one, because you don't want to cut right through the, the pastry. Okay, a little bit disappointing. The risk was always going to be that the cheese melted out, which it has. Um, so I don't know how much cheese is left in there. doesn't seem like a lot's come out. But um, what I'm going to do is leave it on this tray now to cool down for a few minutes. Then we'll serve it. But uh, yeah, as I say, a little bit disappointing. The cheese has melted out. So, there it is. Now what we're gonna do is cut it in half. That's all. This half, I've destroyed a bit, moving it from the uh, baking tray, so I'll, I'll have that half. And then Billy can have Oh, there's still some cheese in there. We'll see what it tastes like. Okay, look, I hope you enjoyed watching this as much as I enjoyed making it. Thank you very much. And tomorrow we're going to be making flatbread. Just keep an eye out for that. Have a good afternoon, day, night, evening, wherever you are. Thank you.